Ka Hala Yahawa Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rapak Radash, double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect who are the house of David reborn again in this generation. And shalom to the one third of Yashurala, who today are known as the Negro, Latinos, and Native Indians, who before losing their true heritage were known as the Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about some of these Christian pastors out there and how they are deceiving the flock and ultimately how on Friday one received a judgment for the amount of wickedness that he had uh, dished out. Now this is 2 Peter 2 and 1 but there were false prophets also among the people even as there shall be false teachers among you who probably shall bring in damnable heresies even denying the Lord that brought them and bring upon themselves with destruction. Now this ultimately talks about false prophets within our nation. But uh, notice how he says also there's going to be false teachers among you. Now that also could talk about these other prophets or priests out there. Like you got this pervert priest Edomite here who claims to be a teacher teacher of the Lord. He is a Christian teacher who just got over a thousand years of time for the uh, sexual assaulting of children. All right, let's go and watch that video now. And those statements came in written statements provided by the prosecution. And in it, they described how Acton Bowen used money, lavish trips and clothing to lure those young boys to spend time alone with him. One of those boys remorsefully saying that they regretted not being able to stop Bowen from hurting others. We heard from Bowen, by the way, for the very first time as well this afternoon. He gave a tearful apology to his family, but first and foremost to the victims who were also in that courtroom in the same room again with him. He said, quote, his heart never meant to hurt them, but his mind is not well. Defense witnesses claim Bowen suffered from PTSD from his own sexual abuse as a teenager, a claim unsubstantiated that he made while he was facing trial. As prosecutors noted in this case, the judge did not find leniency in that argument, offering the maximum sentence in each one of the 28 charges against him. There were six young men that the prosecutors listed as victims that Bowen pled guilty to abusing and prosecutors said they are confident that there were more young men who did not come forward here in Etowah County. They say they hope this verdict will convince them to do so. They say they are vowing to prosecute any other cases involving any young men who come forward in the future. Meanwhile, as for Bowen, he is scheduled to stand trial in Jefferson County in April for the case there, which led to the entire investigation that brought those cases here in Etowah County. But the long story short of this, what we know for sure is that he will now spend the rest of his life behind bars. This is Hebrews 12 and 16. Least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Esau is another word for Edomite. Now, when you get into the 18 nations described in Genesis 10, which then from there go on to tell you about the creation of the 18 nations, you find out that every one of the 18, everybody here on earth all go back to a particular person on this list. All right, you got Israel, who would be known as the Negro Latinos Native Indians. And then you got the Caucasians, who, when you follow their history, their own history books, in their own writing, these are out of their own words, people. This, this is not us saying this. This is just us researching it and telling you what we found. They go back to the nation of Edom. They themselves have, de you know, have declared themselves to be Edom. And now, now that it really matters to not be Edom, now they don't want to be Edom. Right, but they were all proud during the Roman times, and the times of, of when they were in in uh, 
and royalty and stuff, when they gained power of, of Europe, they would claim that they were the Edomites, right? Or they would claim that they were the Idumeans and stuff, right? Thinking that it has some prestige. And then even till this day, they declare themselves as dukes. Dukes is synonymous with the Edomites, man. This is something that only Edom would do. When you get into the uh, the uh, the uh, Hamites that Esau married into, those children uh, became uh, declared themselves as dukes. You know, but like I just said, these Caucasians are biblically known as Adawam or Edom. So when it tells you here that there's there at least there be any fornicator or profane person, profane means outside the covenant as Esau there's the Lord here is showing us how vile of a person Esau is when it comes to uh, you know the scriptures and doing right now let's read this a little bit man this devil here let's read what this devil did Acton Bowen the evangelist <laughs> I read the evangelist who served as a youth minister man this guy was straight up a pedophile uh, um, predator man and they they gave this guy a, a, the keys this game they gave this wolf the keys to the chicken coop right and you have devils out here saying that we're the pedophiles man when it's you know where the where the heck is vocab Malone uh, making videos about this guy here this devil right and all the other hundreds of thousands of devils out there who are molesting these kids no they, they come after us because we're actually telling the truth and they sweep this shit under the rug, right? They, you're never gonna find Vocab Malone, San Neta, or, you know, who's the other idiot? Uh, uh, Brother Polite, or all the other, you know, uh, James White, the Edomite, you're never gonna hear them, you know, make a video or, or mention people like this, right? Because as long as it's Christianity or Catholicism, and it's, or it's religion in general and it's making money for somebody then it's not to be spoken above a whisper right these devils are, are out here fleecing the people man and they're getting put into to positions of influence that where they could they could uh partake into their hearts delight and shit man who served as a youth minister for teenage boys and became a best-selling author why do you think this man achieved so much, man? Because he was doing the will of the devil. All this sexual uh, um, assault, this raping and stuff like that, it's, it's a generational because it's demons that get passed from one to another, man. That's why the demon that was on this devil jumped onto those uh, kids. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if those kids, you know, some of them haven't turned out to be uh, uh, amongst the LGBT crew, man. You know, because when you go through some shit like this, you are given up, man. You are given up to, onto the demons of this world. Was given the maximum sentence for all 28 charges related to sexually abusing six teenagers in Ottawa County. That's Alabama, by the way. On Friday, the sentences are to be served consecutively, basically one after another, which means Bowen would serve roughly 1,008 years before being released man and that's funny because uh when it tells you in revelation that the that the devil would be locked up for a thousand years <laughs> here's another devil literally being locked up for another thousand years man but his ass isn't even going to get to that thousand years he's going to be in the kingdom as a slave you know but uh the, a thousand years spoken about in revelation was when the uh, edomites had fallen from power um from their control of rome around 200 a.d and they migrated up north to the Caucasus Mountains where they stayed for about a thousand years, reinvented themselves as a people, and became known as the Caucasians. This is why you no longer call them Idumeans or Romans, right? They are simply known as the Caucasians from the Cauc Caucasus Mountains. And they're now even getting, trying to get away from that now. You, you call a Caucasian a Caucasian, and there's some out there who see that as a slanderous term, you know? Because this devil, as the curse fell upon Cain, that he would be a fugitive and a vagabond, he is always running from his uh, his his identity, from his, uh, and this is why he never stays at home. He's a vagabond upon the earth and he's a fugitive. And what do fugitives do? 
they run from their from their past, from their uh, judgment. Bowen pled guilty earlier this month as jury selection for his trial was set to begin. Many of the victims, some of whom are now adults, were in the courtroom when the sentence was announced. The victims claim the now 38-year-old evangelist, and they're still calling his ass evangelist, man. He's a fucking pedophile, and they're calling him an evangelist, right? Sexually abused them for months, or in some cases, years, from 2006 to the as recently as April 2018. And that just shows you how much of a devil Esau is, man. In the second Timothy's 3 and 12. The points in 13, but I'll just start at 12. Yea, and all that will live godly in the Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, shall suffer persecution. Right? And aren't we, us Israelites here, aren't we going through persecution right now? Being defamed, having our videos taken down, having channels uh, closed up? We're being persecuted right now, man. But evil men shall and seducers shall wax worse and worse deceiving and being deceived but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of knowing of whom thou hast learned them right so so when you come to the lord you better learn who that person is that you're trying to learn from man if you just go to a damn church and you drop off your kid because it looks nice, and the guy there, he looks like a swell guy. Your kid's gonna get his butthole freaking stretched out and shit, man. That's what these devils are into and shit, man. You know, that's ultimately what's gonna happen. But see, these devils, they just keep getting worse and worse. And this is why you're starting to hear a lot more sexual abuse allegations coming against the church. So much so that the Vatican had to even... Uh, get rid of that law about the uh, Pope Pope's uh, um, a special law that, that basically gave these pedophile priests uh, immunity man they had to get rid of that law because that shit wasn't floating with the people anymore man this is Micah 3 and 11 the heads thereof judge for reward and the priests thereof teach for hire and the prophets thereof divine for money yet will they lean upon Yahweh and say, Is not the Lord amongst us? None evil can come upon us. And you see, that's what these devils, these prosperity pimps, that's what they all do. They do this for money. And they do it, some of them do it just simply to, for the gains. So that way they get their bag. Others do it because they're purposely trying to mislead you, or they themselves have been misled. What does it tell you about the blind leading the blind? Both shall fall into the ditch, right? But the majority of these prophets, these, these false prophets here, are out there simply for the money. You you pay, uh, I'm sure Kanye West, right now he's cozying up to uh, uh, Joe Olsen, and Joe Olsen's loving him, man, because he's getting, he's getting uh, uh, tons of, of uh, profits from all those idiots going out there to go see uh, Kanye West sing non-biblical songs, man. You see? All these people here, man, are all deceivers, man. And they're all going to pay if they haven't already paid for, for what they've done. Right? You just had Comfy. You had somebody in uh, his group get tied to uh, that Jersey shooting. You got Yohanna up there playing defense uh, after, uh, uh, you know, with that Edomite interview he just gave after his ass was caught on vice fucking shooting guns proclaiming that he was gonna you know take Esau's uh or one of the men of his crew talked about uh, or sorry not his crew but uh you know saying that uh, they had to use you know self protection and then you had other people like HOI saying that they had to tap into Esau's uh, uh blessing and then you got other people like TD Jakes here Saying that these Edomites are their brothers. And the Lord's going to destroy these people, man. They haven't already been destroyed. They are going to witness a great reckoning for all the blasphemies and lies. And ultimately all the wickedness that they have done. You know, plain and simple, man. So hopefully that this video was edifying, Akim. Hopefully 
uh, you have a uh, you have some of your questions answered. And uh, till the next time, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rukhok, Kadash, double honors to my teachers, the apostles and the elders, great millstone, peace and mercy to the elect. Shalom.